Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna teach you how to use a truth table to determine whether a statement is a contradiction. And the best place to start is just by defining what a contradiction is and maybe giving you some real world examples. So a contradiction is just a statement that is never true, always false, right? That's just what it means to be a contradiction, right? Uh, so are there any contradictions in the real world? Well, presumably not, right? Uh, the, the world wouldn't function if there were any real contradictions, but we do oftentimes contradict ourselves, right? So we'll say things that are contradictory. So uh, let me just give you the most straightforward kind of contradiction, right? And that is to say that a thing both is and is not, right? And I don't mean to say that you can never say something like, oh yes, yes, uh, so-and-so is nice and not nice in certain ways, right? Where you mean that they're nice in some ways and not nice in others. That's not a contradiction because you're kind of saying that, you know, the person is complicated or something, right? However, it would be a contradiction to say they are both nice and not nice completely, right? Uh, that can't be right. If they're nice entirely, then they can't be not nice. If they're not nice entirely, then they can't be nice. Now, human beings are prone to contradiction all the time, right? Uh, which is just to say that we make mistakes in reasoning. But we can use truth tables in order to find out whether a certain proposition, a certain statement, is contradictory or not. Now, I have a couple of really easy examples up on the board, and then I have one that's a little more complicated, and I'm going to use that example in order to say something uh, about contradictions in the real world. So let's go ahead and start off with the really simple examples. Right? So for a truth table to show you that a statement, a compound statement, is a contradiction, it just needs to be the case that it's false for every single row in that truth table, right? So if you have a statement and it calculates to false on every row, that's a contradiction. On the other hand, if you have a statement that does not calculate to false on every single row, then it's not a contradiction. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So we'll start off with the most straightforward contradiction that there is, right? A and not A, a thing both is and is not, right? That's a straightforward contradiction, and our truth table will show that this is the case. We'll go ahead and we'll start off by evaluating not A, right? So we know that conjunctions are true if and only if both conjuncts are true, otherwise they're false, right? Okay, so let's calculate not A, right? This is the negation, false, true, right? And now let's go ahead and get to that conjunction, right? So true and false, well, they're not both true, therefore this must be false. And false and true, they're not both true, so this must also be false, so we have ourselves a contradiction fairly straightforward, right? Let's move on to another straightforward example, right? So what this says is B, if and only if, not B, right? That actually is quite similar to this first contradiction, right? You're saying that a thing is true if and only if it's false, and that definitely doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and calculate that. As before, we'll start off by calculating the negation, right? So if B is true, then not B is false, and if B is false, then not B is true. And just as a quick intermission, right? If this is your first time being exposed to how to use these logical connectives to calculate, I recommend that you watch my videos where I teach you how it is that you can calculate logical connectives on truth tables. For this video, I'm just assuming that you already know how to do that. Okay, so we've calculated the negation of what not B is. Now let's go ahead and see the biconditional. A biconditional is true when both of its components have the same truth value, otherwise the biconditional evaluates the false. Well, here we see that both components do not have the same truth values, so this must be false. And here we see that both components do not have the, truth, the same truth value, so that must also be false. And so every single row turns out to be false, so we have a contradiction. Let's move on to a more complicated example, right? So we have here a complex compound statement. It says not D and, a whole bunch of parentheses, right? Uh, C implies D and C. Okay, we're gonna calculate this, and you're going to see that this is indeed a contradiction, right? So every single row will calculate to false. The reason that I'm offering you a more complicated version is to show you that contradictions can sometimes hide, right? We just don't have the cognitive powers to look at this and automatically know, right? Well, those who are more seasoned doing this stuff might, but you can get more complicated compound statement, right? statements, right? Uh, the point is, contradictions can hide in plain sight. Right? You might not be able to know just by hearing a statement or just by seeing it written down, whether symbolized or not, you might not know that it's a contradiction. And that's one of the valuable uh, things that we can use truth tables for, right? So this will show the contradiction, it'll make it explicit. So let's work through this thing carefully, right? Now, my advice to you is always start from the innermost parentheses 
uh, and work your way outward, right? That's just to avoid making mistakes. If you went ahead and you started off by calculating not D here, that wouldn't be problematic, right? Because that's connected directly to the main connective. But to avoid errors, we'll go ahead and we'll start off in this innermost part right here. So C implies D, right? We know that a conditional is uh, false if the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. Otherwise, it calculates the truth. So C entails D or C implies D. True implies true is true. True implies false is false. False implies true is true. False implies false is true. Okay, now we have a conjunction between what this conditional evaluates to and C. We know the conjunctions are true when both conjuncts are true and otherwise they're false. So true and true is true. False and true is false. True and false is false. True and false is false. So these are the truth values for this entire bracketed area here. Let's go ahead and calculate not D. So, you know, the negation just flips the truth value, right? So if D is true, then not D will be false. If D is false, then not D will be true. So false, true, false, true, right? We've just inverted these truth values. And now we can finally calculate the main connective to see whether this is a contradiction or not, right? So we're gonna grab these truth values and conjoin them to these truth values, right? Because these are the ones that follow from the connective within these brackets, right? False and true is false. True and false is false. False and false is false. True and false is false. And so we see that this complicated compound statement is a contradiction, right? And the lesson there, again, is just that sometimes contradictions can hide in plain sight. It's a good thing we have truth tables, right? So that we can evaluate to see whether some complex statement turns out to be a contradiction. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you like watching these logic videos, um, you should stick around, right? I, I upload these uh, about twice a week. I also upload videos on philosophy more generally. Uh, at least I will uh, a little more over time as the channel evolves. All right, I'll see you next time.